I'm Chloe and this is Miss Terry. Now let's gear up for the holiday. It's getting close, isn't it? And in our part of the world, it's also getting cold. cold. That's right. And sometimes we even have to deal with ice, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. So why not turn ice and salt and food coloring into a science and art activity from Liza's Colorful Tale from our Fuddlebrook books. I would like for you to take a spoonful of salt and let's just pour it on our eyes. Just spoon that on there. What do we know about salt and ice, Chloe? Salt helps the melting point of ice. That is exactly right. We are going to try to melt our ice so it will create crevices in the ice and then we're going to drop pretty food coloring on it to make an ice sculpture. I'm using holiday green. Green is a secondary color. And I am using two primary colors. Ah, two primary colors, red and blue. What color are you creating with that? Purple. Purple. And I'm actually using purple, which is a secondary color. I'm mixing two secondary colors, which are called tertiary colors. So we can keep mixing and mixing and creating different colors. Well, that's all we have time for today. This was a great art and science project. It sure was, Chloe. Check us out on YouTube and Fuddlebrook.com. Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Happy holidays.